So maybe you know, or maybe you don't, but I have a home store called Was, where I collaborate with a small artist and we come out with a product. And my first product was wine glasses, but now I'm releasing pillows with my best friend, my old college friend, Kate. You can go check out these pillows or purchase these pillows at wasthestore.com. The link is in my bio, but as I'm recording this, we just sold out. I'm, I'm, I'm actually shocked. Do like a straight on? Yeah. It was such a fun time working with Kate creating these pillows. It's definitely a really good mix of both of our styles. I think they turned out amazing. Yeah, I like it. So dusty. Oh, that's fun if you Yeah, I like that. We're getting so creative. This pillow we made the most of, and it's definitely the top seller. All of these fabrics were sourced from downtown Los Angeles, and they were also manufactured and made in Los Angeles. <laughs> Let's go up just a centimeter. Because these fabrics are unique and one of a kind, that means we cannot restock any of these pillows, unfortunately. But because you all love them so much, Kate and I are already working on round two. All of this BTS footage is from our photo shoot and because Kate and I are both prop and set stylists, it actually makes this process very, very easy. <laughs> If you didn't get a pillow this round, do not worry, there are more in the works. Also, just more collaborations and more products to come. I really enjoy doing this. You can view all of this on my new website that an old friend uh, actually helped me design, wasthestore.com, or follow us on Instagram at wasthestore. It's very dark in here because we have um, boxes and it's a gloomy day, but um, the rug's about to be here. And Kate's going to help me set it up. She's here because we're working on the pillows, but I'm very stressed. I just have to say, running my little pillow business for my house definitely overtakes um, my space. We do have a lot stored in the garage, but these are all pillow inserts that I'm going to be shipping out. I decided to launch a little early because the website was done and I was like, Okay, it's Memorial Day weekend, people are going to be doing stuff, so I'm just going to throw up an Instagram, and yesterday I sent out an email for anyone who signed up for early access, and um, we're pretty much sold out. There's one pillow left at the time I'm filming this, but I think by the time you're viewing this, it's going to be um, gone. So it's actually, I mean, it's amazing, but... Next time I launch stuff, I do want to launch right when the YouTube video goes up so that you all have access to the pillows. Unless you follow me on Instagram, you'll see me post when the products go live. Here's one of the pillows. I kind of just threw some pillows 
out here on my couch for now. I don't know which ones I'm going to be keeping. I think I set aside two of each pillow for me and Kate to pick or if we want to give them to friends or whatever. Um, but I'm very pleased and very excited. Let me, let me show you the garage. I will show you the working facilities of, of was. And then at the end of this video, I'll show you my rug. I'm upset about the reveal of the rug in this video because there's these boxes, but whatever, bear with me. It does look good and I will show you it in a bit. Let's, let me, let me show you the garage first. Welcome to was headquarters, AKA my garage that you've seen, but it is being converted currently into a shipping station. We've got pillow inserts and you saw some of them on the inside and these are vacuum sealed for good transportation. We tested out quite a few samples of pillows and or inserts and I did not go cheap on the inserts because I feel like it's pretty important. This is a sample of one of the green pillows and we originally had this like braid on it but it was such cheap quality like you could like pull it out I don't know so we ended up making a custom piping for this pillow but this is one of the samples that we went with and sadly this guy is sold out I'm pretty sure let's see how we're doing there's 16 pillows total left and we're going to come out with another round but this is kind of, yeah, that you, this is all unique fabrics that you can't get any more of. So we're, yeah, that's the whole point of, of was to get something unique. And once it's gone, it's gone. Here is some of the inventory. Here's even another pillow that's just, I just have random ones sitting out. Well, I can go here, but they are such good quality. This is a pillow that we're gifting to our friend Philip, but they're just really good. I don't really need to advertise them because, um, they're pretty much sold out. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I am sorry. I feel like YouTube is my main community. So next time I will launch when a YouTube video goes up, but just go follow me on Instagram or, um, at was the store. If you want, I don't know, updates on Instagram. Remember these? Well, actually not these, I guess this tape. If you ordered a pillow, no, if you ordered a wine glass from my first launch of was, this was the tape on the boxes. But because these are pillows, they are going to be shipped in like poly bags or mailers or whatever, and they are delayed. We're waiting, we're waiting on those to arrive. I think they arrive in like a day because this is the first round of doing this, there's definitely been a huge learning curve and I've learned so much. And so is Kate and just setting up the whole website and everything. It's just been a lot of work and a lot to learn. Um, but now I feel good for our next round of pillows, which I'm hoping come out in the next month and they won't, they won't be the same as these, but they'll be just as good, if not better. Now that we know our spots, we know our people, we know how to do it. By the way, did I ever show you these bar stools back here? I found them off of Facebook Marketplace. Look how good they are. They look like little French bistro chairs. And this bar is nice because there's two bar stools on that side and then you can hide ones back here. And you can like actually host like a little dinner get together, I don't know. But I really like them. And I don't think I'm gonna get them reupholstered uh, for once in my life, not reupholstering. I discovered that there's a wildflower hill down the street from me. And now all I do is pick these. I think you've seen them in videos, but 
free flowers, you know? Also, if you ordered my wine glasses, you got a personal note written from me. It actually took a lot of time to write those. I have not written ours yet, Kate and I's, but what I did for the last note is that I got like a vintage furniture book and we just cut out pages and wrote notes on them and we're doing the same thing. Just vintage furniture book that we bought off Etsy and then some markers and we're going to write everyone a little note. If you watched my prop selling video, I did show this plant in the video, but I wanted to show you it in my house. And it's just a propagated potato. See that? Just, and it actually needs more water, but this is just a little potato. It grows so intensely. I, I trim it like once a week. Right now, I'm really into this one. There's also one on my mantle that I'll show you. Um, I did not propagate them myself. I bought them from Rolling Greens, but you could easily propagate um, a potato. Also, look how cute this thing is. Look how cute that arrangement is. The things I do in my free time. We have not been in my bedroom in quite some time, but check it out. Another pillow, a was pillow. Um, this one's definitely one of my favorites. I mean, I like them all, but this one's really unique. And will I keep all of these in my house? I don't know. I'll probably give them away over time. But anyways, my bedroom needs help. And I don't really know what to do. I wanted a bed frame like this, like a mid-century one. But now that I have that huge cabinet out in my living room, I'm like, I don't think I want to replicate it. I was thinking maybe something more Art Deco. I, I like the idea of having connected side tables. So uh, send me ideas. I need you all to help me pick out a bed frame. That's kind of like next on my list of stuff I want to purchase. But I'm also taking a giant cutback on purchasing things. Well, I say that, but then I purchased a rug. I also cannot paint this room, not that I want to paint it, but don't, don't suggest that. And I think it needs some wood. I would love like large shelves on this side and a big bed frame. Let me show you this side. Here is where we are at with my giant mortadella painting that I would like for it to go into the kitchen, but it's just right here. I need, I would like some type of like shelving unit, I think, or like wall shelving unit, or I don't know, but it basically just like can't be mid-century, I think, just because we have that giant, we, just because I have that giant unit in the living room. I just, I'm stuck on what to do, and I'm not attached to anything in this space. Nothing here is permanent or needs to stay. And now for the rug. It is indeed tricky to show you this rug because I don't know what it is, but this camera, or I guess this is a new camera, but whatever, however this place is lit doesn't show off the couch fabric very nicely and it does look good in person. And maybe, I know, honestly, I think you can see the rug pretty nicely. This is from Schoolhouse. This rug is half off right now. It was a $2,000 rug and I got it for, I think, $900 and it's massive. It's like a 12 by 8, something 12, 12 by 10, I don't know, no, yeah, maybe, I don't know. Anyways, it's from Schoolhouse. It is so comfortable, like I really like a high pile rug rather than a killum and killums have all the best designs, but I don't want a really thin rug. I like something really comfortable. And a lot of you selected those Etsy ones, which were great, but then I was like, is it too much pattern? I went with this and I'm very excited about it. It does, however, make me question this piece, my chairs. I don't really question the couch, um, but it doesn't feel fully put together for me. 
it's getting there, but it needs help. And I'm still thinking I'm going to sell these. Even though they look so good in the photo shoot, I was like, wow. But I don't know. I really like the rug. I'm very excited about it. So go check out Schoolhouse if you like it. Um, oh, one other thing I need your opinion on. Let me show you over here. See, I swear in person, this rug is a little darker. But anyways, it has this fringe on the side that I'm just not too sure about. It could easily be cut off. And I'm kind of, look at that. Wait, you can't even see that, hold on. It can definitely be cut off and I wanna show you what it looks like with no fringe. And honestly, I think it does look better. I don't, I don't hate the fringe. I don't hate fringe. But it does look a little more sleek. So um, let me know if you think I should cut it off or what. I will say I do really love having a rug. It is like the key, it was bothering me that I didn't have one because it like keeps the furniture in place. It was bothering me, everything was sliding everywhere. I'm gonna show you some more fun views of the rug, but again, there's boxes and stuff. And I do think it needs more stuff for it to look good, but I'm very excited about it. And I really like the addition of this color. It just needs, I just don't know about these with it. I just don't know yet. So bear with me as I go through this process of making decisions and then going back on them and then selling things and then buying things. Let me know if you want to see more behind the scenes of when I make a product for was, would that be fun for people to watch? Just like if I took the camera with me every time I was doing stuff when making a product and creating a large video, because right now I'm just taking like some behind the scenes, I showed you some stuff, but if you like, if you want to see more of that, I don't know if that's of interest me creating a product. Wow, I am, I am, uh, I'm tired. This, this whole project really uh, took the life out of me a little bit. It was a lot of work, it was a lot of work. But, um, all right, here's a little montage of stuff from me to you. Goodbye. <laughs>